Leadership Champions. How are you doing? I'm glad you can join me for this week's Leadership Success Tip. I wanted to really just jump on and really been sharing these past couple of weeks. I've been sharing some lessons that I've learned as I leveled up and took a leap of faith jumping into full-time entrepreneurship. And so I shared the first week that there are times and circumstances that will force you to take an action or to take a leap that you might not be aware that you have been prepared to take. It may happen at a timing and at a season that you are not ready for, but you are actually more prepared than you thought. Then last week I talked about how there is more than one way to reach a goal. While there are many blueprints that you could follow, you have to find and you have to really be sensitive to know the blueprint that is for you because there is only one route that you must take in order to for your specific journey in order to get to your destination and reach the people that only you can reach so there are many ways many paths that have been successful for other people as they are in their capacity of leading their business or leading their organization a lot of strategies and tips that are out there because we're in an information age and that you can google anything but there's only one way for you and so i talked about that last week and so today i'm going to share the third thing the third key the third lesson that i've learned as i reflected upon this first year full-time entrepreneurship taking a leap of faith and living by faith at a higher degree and here it is i am not competing for market share as a business owner i'm taking possession of the share that rightfully belongs to me and that is specifically designed for me so i'll say it again i'm not competing so there are a lot of people who are out there doing something similar but they are not my competition what I have learned is that I am taking ownership of the part that belongs to me that I have been designed to take part of. And there is a group of people I am called to serve that only I can serve. And so those are the people that I am reaching and that is the market share that I'm taking. And so I would say this for you. I want you to understand that you are stepping into the place that has been prepared for you to use your skills, your experience, and your gifts to serve the people that are waiting on you. I'll say that again. You are stepping into the place that has been prepared for you so that you can use your experience, your skill set, your gifting to serve those who are waiting on you because what you provide is what they need. You have the answer to their problem and only you can be the one to serve them in a way, to love on them in a way that would help them find solution to that problem. And so that was the thing that I've learned. So remember, as you operate in your place of leadership, as you function your business, as you lead your business, I don't say run, I say lead, because you need to be the primary influencer of what happens. And as you lead in your place of leadership, because there are some people who are leading in schools, there are some people who are leading in business, and so I'm talking to you, champion leader. As you lead in the capacity that you have been gifted to lead, remember you are not competing with anyone or anything. You don't have to try to be like anyone else. You don't have to try to imitate someone else. You don't have to try to get people to like you above someone else. You are stepping into the place that has been prepared for you. And so your responsibility in that place is to serve in a way that no one else can because you are called to serve those people that no one else can because that's your group to serve. All right, that's it for this week. I want you to be successful as always. I want you to lead like a champion and I want you to remember that as you level up, use what use what I've learned from my experience, apply it to your specific situation and let it accelerate you and your experience. 
Now, if you are taking a leap of faith, you're in the middle of shifting or need to shift some things in your space of leadership and you want some help with that, some support, you don't know how to start, where to start, or even what to do to start, I want you to reach out to me. Send me a, a message, send me an email, we'll jump on a 30 minute call, absolutely free. I'll hear what you have to say. I'll hear your specific situation because everyone is different. And I will help you find clarity. I'll help you find that focus you need. All right? So that's it. Again, be successful. I'll see you next time. And lead like a champion.